Hello, everyone. I'm White Cow. Nice to meet you. Today, I will introduce how to publish your project on GitHub. Currently, the screen is at the stage of signing up as a new user. The main use of GitHub has been hosting Git repositories, facilitating code sharing, project management, and collaboration. However, it comes with a variety of convenient features, such as integration with other tools and the ability to publish source code. Therefore, let's start by signing up for GitHub and creating a repository. But first, I'll provide a brief explanation of what GitHub is in the first place. Let's get started. Personally, the first thing that comes to mind is the publication and sharing of source code. Haven't you all used some of the convenient features available on GitHub at least once? Secondly, there's the integration with external services. By uploading files to GitHub, those files may be published and shared through external services. Grasping the following points can further deepen your understanding. GitHub is an incredibly useful tool that offers version control, collaboration, as well as documentation, creation, and support. In fact, many developers and companies around the world make use of GitHub. This is not only for efficient project management, but also to facilitate smooth communication among team members. For remote teams in particular, GitHub has become an indispensable tool for centralizing project management and advancing work. With this explanation, you should have a basic understanding, so let's actually try it out. The page displayed after signing up encourages the creation of a repository, which is recommended as the first step in starting a project with GitHub. Instead of using someone else's repository, we will practice creating one ourselves. Therefore, we will create a new repository named Test and select the private option. During this process, some commands were displayed. A repository is a place where files and directories for a project are stored. Both upper and lower command sets were displayed, but there is a slight difference between the two. As shown in the video, if, if it's your first time, you should use the upper command set. To use Git on Windows, you must first install Git. Download the installer for Windows from the official Git website and follow the instructions to install it. Commands using Git can be executed in Command Prompt, PowerShell, or Git Bash. For clarity, create a new folder for your project or use an existing project folder. In the video, a test folder is being created inside an existing YouTube folder. You may consider creating an explorer and then launching the command prompt there. This empty test folder will become the root directory of the Git repository. You will copy and paste the displayed set of commands at this location. The meaning of the commands will be explained sequentially. An error occurred during the commit of changes. Experiencing an error at the time of committing changes is a common experience for many people using Git. One of the most common errors is not having the username and email address registered in Git's configuration. Follow the error message to set your name and email address in Git. This time, the commit of changes was successful. We will continue to copy and paste the following commands. After attempting to push to GitHub, a login box for GitHub appeared. It seems you can choose between signing in with a browser and using a token. 
I decided to go with the former option. Put the Authorize Git Ecosystem button. This authorizes the connection between Git on Windows and GitHub. As a result, you won't need to enter your username and password every time you access a GitHub repository or push changes from the command line or GUI tools. Let's check the files. Upon checking in Explorer, there is a .git folder that is treated as a hidden folder. This folder is used to store version control information by Git and is automatically created in the project directory when Git is initialized. Making changes to or deleting this folder accidentally could affect the version control history of the project. Let's also check on GitHub. When cloning the repository, a familiar screen appeared. Through this process, I was able to experience the entire sequence of managing a repository on GitHub, working in a local environment, and then pushing changes to a remote repository. Why not take this opportunity to try it out for yourself? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.